Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Monday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time, August 30th, 2021. I'm Deacon Dennis Holling from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Our first psalm is Psalm 42, entitled, Longing for the Lord's Presence in His Temple. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul. How I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God, amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep, in the roar of the waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him. Praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan with me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down my soul? So now that the surging waves of our indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing calm of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always like the deer for running streams until you satisfy every longing in heaven. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. Our canticle is taken from Sirach, entitled Prayer of Entreaty for, Hope for the Holy City, Jerusalem. Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as you know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. Our second psalm is Psalm 19a, entitled, Praise of the Lord, Creator of All. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
To enlighten the world, Father, you sent to us your word as the Son of truth and justice, shining upon mankind. Illumine our eyes that we may discern your glory in the many works of your hand. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. Our reading this morning is taken from the prophet Jeremiah. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and the happiness of my heart. Because I bore your name, O Lord, God of hosts. Blessed among us today is Saint Jean Juggin, founder of the Little Sisters of the Poor, who was born in 1792 and died in 1879. Jean Juggin was born to a poor family in Brittany, France. She spent most of her life in menial service. Poor as she was, however, she believed that God intended her for some larger purpose. In 1837, along with two companions, she rented an attic apartment and formed an informal community of prayer. They supported themselves by doing laundry while devoting their free time to catechizing children and assisting the poor. Eventually, with new companions, Jean formed a religious association. Along with vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, she had a fourth vow of hospitality. They called themselves the Little Sisters of the Poor. At this point, in a strange twist, Jean's spiritual director stepped in to claim authority over the group. By the time the community received papal approval in 1852, there were 500 sisters in the congregation, and yet Jean's role as founder had been completely obscured. She spent the last 27 years of her life supervising the manual work of the postulants. Only after her death was her true role recovered. Jean died on August 29, 1879. Her last words were, quote, Eternal Father, open your gates today to the most miserable of your children, but one who greatly longs to see you, end quote. She was canonized by Pope Benedict XVI in 2009. And this is another quote from St. Jean. My little ones, never forget that the poor are our Lord. In caring for the poor, say to yourself, this is for my Jesus. What a great grace. Our responsory, sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord. Give him the praise that is due. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sing for joy, God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Our Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. The response to our intercessions this morning is, Save us, O God. Wondrous God, you give us grace to know your forgiveness and love. In hope we pray, Save us, O God. Heal those who have been betrayed by the church and bring an end to all sexual abuse. In hope we pray, Save us, O God. Rejoin missing children and adults with their loved ones. In hope we pray, Save us, O God. Come to the aid of those who suffer financial strain, grief, or physical disability. In hope we pray, save us, O God. 
for Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, deacon candidates, for our parish ministers, our parish staff, for Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be sick or who have died. In hope we pray, save us, O God. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In our prayer for protection in time of our COVID-19 pandemic, O Mary, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain while remaining steadfast in faith. O loving Mother, you know what we need, and we are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others and for those who are tending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows, so as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Almighty Father, you have brought us to the light of a new day. Keep us safe the whole day through the uh, keep us safe the whole day th through from every sinful inclination. May all our thoughts, words, and actions aim at doing what is pleasing in your sight. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing so that we may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed week. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other. And may God be praised.